All right, friends. So I'm going to expand on the conversation that I had in the last video, which I titled, And the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. That comes from Zechariah 14. There is a prophecy that when Christ returns at the second coming, there will be all the saints with him. This is explained in 1 Thessalonians 3.13 and the second half of chapter 4 from verse 13 through the end of the chapter. And it's actually referenced a couple of different times about the Lord returning with all his saints and how that's going to happen. There's an event and it says, so shall we ever be with the Lord and the Lord my God shall come in all the saints with thee. So this is the process that, that moves us from here to there to be with him forever. And we're going to be able to return with him as a result of it. But there's another part of the conversation. And this is explained in Matthew 24, <laughs> ultimately. It leads us to Matthew 24 to confirm this. And I know Matthew 24 is a chapter that a lot of people are familiar with. Um, but I, for the, and the reason I'm gonna go through this is because there is a group of people who is like anti-rapture or they just don't understand or can't, um, can't reason it out logically that it would be before the 70th week. Matthew 24 actually helps us with a reference of figurative language. It's used in 1 Thessalonians 4, it's used in Acts 1, it's used in Revelation 11, and it's also used in Matthew 24. And the key to it is Hebrews 12.1. Clouds. I will be back to discuss later.